guys, Mr. Zern here. Welcome back. I have a quick little code highlight that I want to show you today where some people are struggling. So if we take a look, we can see I've got a list and I've already added five items into it, just some simple numbers. And I think it'll make it easy to see um, kind of what's going on, like what I want to delete, what's actually deleting here. So I've just got like, I like one, I like two, I like three, I like four, I like five. And then there's a, a simple print statement that says, which thing do you like the least? And then I actually have a user declared variable that says pick the corresponding number. So the program basically wants you to look at that list and pick the thing that you don't like on the list. And so enter it, um, you know, enter that number. So I'm going to say like two. I don't really like two. And if we look at the program, we can see that when I hit enter, it's going to delete, uh, you know, from the list two. So let's do that and see what actually deletes. All right, well, we can see that it then prints the list after something's been deleted. We can see the list has one, two, four, and five. So it didn't print two, or excuse me, it didn't delete two, it deleted three. Now, if we think about Python, and we know that the numbering, like with index, starts with zero. So, you know, for, you know, uh, people start with one, two, three, four, five, you know, Python goes zero, one, two, three, four. Uh, and so when I entered two, the user is fully expecting two to be removed from the list, and yet number three is. So I need to add some code here, because again, you asking a user like, oh, you know, enter the one you don't like, the least be sure to start with zero from counting like think about the games and the things that you do online there's nothing out there anywhere that asks you to do that the program just takes care of it for you so really what we want to do here is i'm going to set up like almost like a decremental counter and i'm going to say hey delete equals delete minus one all right so let's run that program again and see what happens. All right, so same list appears. What thing do you like the least? Pick the corresponding number. I'm going to say two. So if we, can, if we think about what's going to happen there is, is in, uh, I'm going to enter two. I hit enter. And the line eight, it says, all right, set take delete, which is holding the integer two, and set it to delete, which is still holding two, and subtract one from it. So that becomes one, right? And so let's hit enter and see how that plays out. And you can see that two actually gets deleted from the list. Now it says one, three, four, and five. So that's one way in which we can fix um, so that a user's input matches up with, you know, the index numbers of how, you know, Python is, is listing things there. All right. So uh, some people have been struggling with that, and I wanted to highlight that to help you be successful in the future. All right. I will talk to you guys later.